All right, what's good, everybody? I'm gonna be showing you guys how I made this loop today, uh, completely from scratch, using my acoustic guitar. I'm gonna go ahead and play the loop for you guys so you know what it sounds like, and then I'm gonna run you through each sound and each step I use to make the loop. <laughs> acoustic right here and so basically uh, every time I start to make a loop I kind of what I look for first is a chord that I want to use or a set of chords or like some type of progression and uh, you don't really need to know music theory really for this you just need to know like what chord you want to use so there's an app you probably can't see it on the screen but there's an app called chord bank and it literally, it will just give you random chords. Minor chords, F minor. And you can just go through there and kind of find one, uh, find a chord that you like, and then go from there. On this one, I didn't do that. I kind of just found it on my own, but sometimes that chord bank uh, app will really help. So I was kind of just playing around, and uh, I found this right here. those two chords I use. Hold on, look real quick, let me see what it was. Yeah, so that was the first sound, it was... Oh yeah, that, there it is right there. I was on the wrong one. Uh, so it's kind of like just like a bar chord. And you can just like look up chords like this. But basically what I did uh, is this is how I strummed it. I went, I just strummed it straight down and straight up in a, in a pattern kind of like this. And like a trick you can use instead of just like this. Which that's cool too, but a trick you can use is... Uh, see if this all right now you can see a little bit more of the guitar all right so a trick you can use is uh use your palm and kind of mute some of the strings so that way it's kind of instead of so anyhow so I went like this to make the first pattern Kind of hard to play it took me a while it took me a lot of tries to get that down so it's, it's kind of like this so anyhow so so that's what i played so and then i the recording sounds like this. And then once I had that, I added this. Whoops. Oh. So once I had that first one, I added this on top of that. Eventually. 
So yeah, that's a, that's how the the first counter melody went like this. Whoa, like this. So, and if you're wondering like uh, how you know which notes to play or whatever, after you have your first melody, just just go around and look and find random notes that work. You like you'll be able to play something, and you can tell if it works or not. And you just kind of find your own scale from there, like. So anyhow, and after I had those two sounds, the last thing I added with the guitar is this. And that I'm pretty sure is. See, I'm not all that great at guitar, but just by using my ears, I can find what works well with certain melodies after you get one down. So after I had all those three melodies combined, it sounded like this. <laughs> guitars I added uh, I added individual effects like a little chorus reverb uh, stereo shaper for the stereo shaper I used pr uh, one of these presets like two or three added some RC20 a little bit of sound geyser just to make it a little bit louder and uh, some EQ cutting out the super low end and I bas basically added like the same kind of effects to each separate guitar just a little bit different and then I panned one of the melodies right Actually, I panned two of the, both the counter melodies, I kind of panned right, and like the main melody that just keeps repeating, I panned left, and whoops, and after I did that, I recorded all of the guitars, and then um, I put more effects once I got all of them into one recording. I have a little bit of gross beat, and it's just this preset right here. Doesn't really do a whole bunch. Uh, I have a limiter on it to compress it. <laughs> And then uh, a little bit more RC20 and another EQ. So after I had all the guitar melodies, I added a flute. And the flute I added is actually out of a one-shot kit from uh, this guy named NoFuck. You look him up on Instagram. He has a one-shot kit with guitars and flutes. And this is the one-shot I added to the sample. So it's kind of just like a little bitty flute run and I'll show you guys how I came up with the uh, let's see I think this is it right here basically this is gonna uh, it's run is tuned to C but like whatever you just gotta find which one of these notes work well with it and uh, and then also this is what I did on that was one of them and on the other one I kind of just did the same thing but added this little bitty uh, these notes right here are slide notes and it kind of adds a cool effect so like this <laughs> And then once you add that to the guitar, it's it sounds like this. I re 
recorded everything in a one sample with the flute and uh, all the guitar parts and I really didn't put anything on it besides uh, this EQ just cutting out the super lows anything that was left over and I dipped this out right here because there was a really harsh frequency cutting through right here <laughs> for the effects once I added everything and yeah that's pretty much it that's how I made the sample like I said I had three melodies with the guitar and then I added that one little flute run and just added effects and that was pretty much it you guys I appreciate you guys watching uh, make sure to like comment subscribe it helps me out a lot and stay tuned for the next one peace